Welcome back. Continuing to work on Fairyland Japanese Garden. Last time we worked on this little bedside table. This little floor lamp. This scissor. Oops. Set him up there. It's cute. It even has strings. And this bookcase with scrolls in it and some books. We all got super cute. We set this all aside. And we'll continue on here with the desk. It says, before making, pull out L12-1 and L12-2. Let's find out what they are. Here's L12. So that is this piece of wood here. We need to find L. And we want 12-1, which is this little window thing here. And that is 12-1 and 12-2. We also need L05. Which are these pieces here. We need two of those. And we need L06 and L07, two of each of those. I'm going to use my little makeshift tray here. And this is L07. Here's L06. There's another L06 and a second L07. I got a piece of wood in here. I'm hoping something hasn't broken. And this little silly makeshift tray. <laughs> it works great. <laughs> for exactly what I needed to do. And it says pull out L1 and L2. It wants us to get these out of here. They're almost too small for the utility knife, but I'll try a little bit. Oh, that worked great. Gotta be right at those little nibs. And that worked great too. Punches right out. So this is L12-1 and this is L12-2. And we also need L04. which is this piece and A26-13, A26-12 and M14. And M is our big bag here. I'm going to take this out of here for now. And we need to find whatever M14 is. M14 is a toothpick, wood color, one. That is very helpful. So there is a toothpick in here. I'm guessing it's this right here. little bit of 
decoration on it. Not much, but a little bit. We also need A2612 and A2613. And that is again in here on our single page. Here's A2612 and A2613. Do. They're showing to glue A6, which is A in here, on top of B. The humps of both 6 and 7 go up. something like this. So our next step is to put the tabletop on and that basically just gets centered over top of here. just going to push that aside and let that dry for a little bit we need to cut our stick and we are making a pen and it says to cut the tip 0.8 centimeters and then to color the tip of that black so that would be our writing instrument so we want 0.8 centimeters which I'm going to mark it at 0.9, so that doesn't show up when I cut it. I'll just cut right on the inside of that line. And we'll take I have a black marker here and we'll just color the tip of it. It doesn't really say how much to color. I believe that will suffice. Set that aside with the rest of the items. I'll put this back in M. And we'll go on and punch out this next item, this chair. And we'll set this to the side a little farther. I got some strings in it yet. Oh. 
We're going to go ahead and punch out this chair, which is L08910. And 11. These look black, but they're actually dot. These are brown. They're a dark brown. So we want L8, which is this, L9, L10, and L11. And basically, we're going to glue the seat on in the middle, glue the crossbars in the middle, the bottom, and then this gets put on the front on both of those. underneath the seat. Go back to our desk and pull off these strings of glue now. That's looking cute. And we need to glue A2613 on top. So, it also wants to have a little bend in it, as if draping off the edge. So, we'll do that. You can bend that down farther when it's dry. And then, take our little white document here. And I believe it goes this way. And that is glued right in the center. And then L12-1, I'm going to color these real quick. I believe there is a bottom. If you look, this part is thicker and this has a little decorative lift on it. So this is the part we want to glue fast. I'm going to color the top of this so it's not, this is not black. I don't know where my black is other than this one. But this isn't really a Sharpie. Well, that'll work. So we want to glue this at the base, at that thicker part. On to the desk. about here. It looks like it's slightly over this white document, so, so that'll be okay. Just glue it down there. Piece. I believe this may be supposed to be an ink pot. I'm going to 
going to color those edges too. And that gets glued on the opposite side, right at the corner of the white parchment. And then our little paintbrush pen gets glued around there. It's sticking through this little black frame a little off to the right hand side of the white parchment. I'm going to put mine a little on an angle. And there, we're done with that. You can fold these down a little later, a little bit more. Maybe put a little bit more glue under here. But that got super cute. I like it. Those legs were tough but it got cute, it got very cute. So today we did this little desk and this little chair. Hope to see you next time, have a great day.